Welcome to Electro Online and now for an example of how to find the concentration of the hydroxide ion, the pH, and the percent ionization when we start off with a 0.6 molar solution of ammonia dissolved in water. So ammonia is a weak base, so let's see what the final concentration is of the hydroxide ion. So first we want to put up an equation. So we have the ammonium dissolved in water and partially ionizing to form the hydroxide ion and the conjugate acid. All right, so let's say that we start with an initial concentration of 0 0.6 molar, and of course 0 and 0 for these two, and then we know that we're going to reduce the molarity by x. That means that these will be increased by x so that we form a final solution that has the molarity of the ammonium, the base, of 0 0.6 minus x, and here we have x and x. And then we do the same as we do with acids. We know that the, um, what we call the ionization constant, K sub B, is equal to the concentration of the hydroxide ion times the concentration of the conjugate acid divided by the concentration of the base. Oop, there we go. All right, and that would then be equal to, and in this case, K sub B is 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5. So then we can say, well, we replace this by X and X, so uh, this can be written as X times X divided by 0 0.6 minus X. Now, is X a very small number? Let's assume it is. X is much smaller than 0.6. If it is, we can make the approximation that 1.8 times 10 to the minus 5 is equal to x squared divided by 0 0.6 instead of writing 0 0.6 minus x. Again, if the concentration of the, um, if the percent ionization is less than 5%, we're in good shape. We can do that. So that means that x squared is equal to, and I need a calculator, 1.8 e to the 5 minus times 0.6 equals that would be 1.08 times 10 to the minus 5. And so then take the square root of that. And we get x is equal to 3.29 times 10 to the minus 3. And that, of course, would be the molar concentration of the hydroxide ion. So let's first see what the percent ionization is, because I may have to use the technique where I use the quadratic equation instead. I can't do the approximation. So let's see what the percent ionization is. The percent ionization is equal to the final concentration of the hydroxide ion divided by the original concentration of the base, like that. So this is equal to, we have 3.29 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 0 0.6 and let's see divide by 0 0.6 and then times 100 and that gives me wow pretty small so it's equal to 0 0.55 percent okay so the percent ionization is very small less than five percent so my approximation is just fine not a problem at all i can do it that way so next I'm going to find the pH, and so before I find the pH, I'm going to find the pOH. The pOH is equal to minus the log of the concentration of the hydroxide ion. Okay, and so let's see here, that would be uh, minus the log, and I found the concentration is right here. That would be uh, 0, 3.29 times 10 to the minus 3. Let's do that. So we have 3.29 e to the 3 minus, take the log of that number, times minus, that gives me a positive 2.48. So that's the pOH is 2.48, that makes it a basic solution. Now to find the pH, that is equal to 14.0 minus the pOH, in this case that would be 14.0 minus 2.48, And that gives me, whoa, let me try it again. 14 minus 2.48 equals, and so the pH is equal to 11.52. So we found the pH, we found the pOH, we find the percent ionization, and we find the molar concentration of the hydroxide ion. And that's how we do that. So if you follow this technique, 
It's very straightforward.